What's up guys? It's Samantha, the Get It Done Girl. On this channel, I teach you how to make money online using the skills you have while doing the things you love. I also explore tech and tools to help you become more productive and efficient at what you do. If you're new here, welcome. If you have been a supporter since my very first video, thank you for your continued support. In this video, I'm going to share with you step by step how to set up a page in PowerPoint for book publishing. Before we get into the tutorial, I'm going to select a trim size to demonstrate how easy it is to set up a page. The trim size I'm working with is 6 by 9 and the interior of my book will contain 167 pages. Since my book will have images extending beyond the page, I will need to calculate how many inches to allocate as the books bleed. I will be using the KDP print file calculator to determine how much bleed should be added to the width and height of the book. I will also be given the gutter and the outside margins. Let's get to calculating. This is what my print calculator looks like. And as you can see, you are given the ink and print choice or paper choice, the trim size and the number of pages. For my book, I will set the paper choice to black ink and white paper. But if you're working with a colored book, simply choose the color ink and white paper option. For my trim size, it is 6 by 9, so I'm just going to put that in 6 by 9. And for number of pages, it is 167. Since my book will contain bleed, I am going to select the manuscript with bleed option. And this is all the numbers I will need to plug into PowerPoint to ensure that my book is aligned according to Amazon's standards. So my new trim size will be 9.25 for the length or the height of the book. And for my width, it's going to be 6.125. Now the gutter will be 0 0.5 and the outside margins will be set to 0 0.25. So let's head over to PowerPoint and add in these numbers. Now here is my blank slide. To access my page setup option, I'm going to hit the design tab and choose the slide size, custom slide, and this is the pop-up box that will appear. My new width is going to be 6.125 and let's look back to make sure of that 6.125 and my height 9.25 my height 9.25 so this will include the bleed and here is my new page so I'm going to look back at the margins that I will need. So my outer margin is 0 0.25 and my gutter is 0 0.25. So what I'm going to do first is to go back to PowerPoint and I'm going to set my gutter to begin with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the design tab, sorry, the view tab, and I'm going to have to select or enable my ruler, grid lines, and guides. And this will help me to accurately pinpoint the margin dimensions on the page. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to select the grid and guides. Another pop-up box. So this is the feature you will need to edit, the spacing feature. Mine is already set to 0.5 which is the inside gutter that I'm going to need. So I'm just going to hit OK. 
Let's zoom in. This is the vertical guide that is on the page and it's already positioned in the middle which is set to zero and if you should move automatically it will lead you to increments of 0 0.5 see 0 0.5 0 point sorry let's go again from 0 to 0 0.5 to 1 inch to 1.5 2 inches, 2.5 to 3 inches. So two, automatically, this would, would be where our margin starts. And if we should head in this direction, our margin would also start right here. So these are our margins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a line to use as a guide because this is important because after I get around to creating the outside margin which is 0 0.25 these will automatically change on the page to align with 0 0.25 so I'm going to use a line draw a line to use as a guide I'm going to change the color, the outline to black, and I'm also going to increase the width so that I can see it. I'm also going to copy this line to my to the outside margin. This should be to 0 0.25, might I add, and not 0 0.50. But I'm just going to leave it as is. And when I calculate my next margin, which is my outer margin, I'm going to change the line. So let's right click and go back to grid and guides. So I'm going to change the 0 0.5 to 0 0.25 and hit OK. And as you can see, the lines or the grids on the page actually changed. So if you should go from this side, if you should go back, you would realize that the increments are in 0 0.25 increments. And to be sure, we can actually calculate this. So let's say I'm moving from, from so let's say I'm moving from the zero in the middle and I'm going to the left. The first one is 0 0.25, and if we should add 0 0.25 to 0 0.25, we would automatically get 0 0.50. Let's move to see if that's the option we get. Voila, 0 0.50. And if we should add another 0 0.25 to 0 0.50 or 50, we would get 0 0.75. So automatically, this would most definitely be our 0 0.25 margin. So since it's the outer margin that I'm working with, I am just going to head back to the right and apply that to 2.75. So this is where my margin is, my outer margin is. And if you want to set this up for the top and bottom margins, it is the same process. So let's look at it, 0 0.50, 0 0.25. For this, it would be 0 0.25. So I'm going to copy this line. Let's undo. I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy this line. And I'm going to turn it. And this will be used as my guide. So if I should remove my guides by going to view, this is what it looks like on the page. Now what I'm going to do is to add vertical and horizontal lines instead of leaving 
these lines on the page. Let's go ahead and add these lines. Sorry, right click, click the arrowhead and add a vertical line. So this is it. This is my vertical line and this is where it needs to be. So I can just go ahead and remove this from the screen. I'm also going to add another line which runs horizontally. Same, right click, add horizontal line and you can position this at the very top. You can also copy this, sorry, you can also remove this line. And what I'm going to do is to add more lines, more vertical grids or guides to the page. So I'm going to hit get grids and guides. And I'm going to add this here. I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to add another horizontal line. And I'm going to add it here. So voila, this is my page setup. So everything should be flushed or added inside these margins. To be on the safe side, you can simply create a border. You can change the fill to no fill and you can increase the width so it's a bit clearer for you. And there you have it. That's how you set up your book's interior. Please remember to like this video, share it with a friend or friends and subscribe to my channel as this will greatly help me improve and to reach an even wider audience thank you so much for watching see you in my next video